I don't know if the flying car is going to become a reality, but Uber Copter apparently has launched. Xbox, Twitter, Uber, Postmates, oh, no. Netflix, Movie Pass, Google, Facebook, eBay, DoorDash, Apple, Amazon, Airbnb, The Apptrepreneur. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Apptrepreneur. If this is your first time here and you want more videos about Uber, the gig economy, the streaming wars, anything tech and app related, subscribe below, ring that bell for daily notifications, and let's start talking about this. So, we have talked ad nauseum about the flying car, at least when Uber was trying to convince us that this was actually going to be his thing. And I poo-pooed on it for a long time, and it appears that I might have been justified in doing so. When we finally saw the things, it wasn't a flying car so much as it was a helicopter. And we've had helicopters for years. And after a while, even Uber kind of stopped calling it Uber's flying car. In fact, I haven't really said anything about a flying car in a long time, which is interesting because this was the year they were supposed to be taking off. They were going to be everywhere, but now they're two to three years away. And again, that will eventually be a t-shirt. Flying cars or self-driving cars, they're two to three years away all the time. So anyway, yeah, I, I've had pretty critical things to say about this whole thing. However... It appears that Uber Copter, at the very least, has gone public in New York City. And Tim Stevens from Roadshow, which is a CNET site, has actually told us what it's like. So anyway, that there you have it. And look, it's a helicopter. It's not even the Uber helicopter that we saw at any of the trade shows or anything, which kind of, you know, confirms my suspicion that those models are pretty much for show, like... You know, yeah, it looks nice. It looks like something you'd want to be flying in. But no, this is the reality. Um, in fact, let's go over here. Um, Uber flying car. Like, do we even... You want to remember what this thing looked, looked like? I mean, this was one design that they had for that. Fantasy reality. Fantasy reality. Let's look at another... Another one. Uh, this was another one that they had decided they were going to try to sell the pe people. Looks very futuristic and all that jazz. Fantasy. Reality. Fantasy. Reality. I think there was one more and then uh, I think we'll... Uh, yeah, this was like the most recent one. By the way, this looked like the coolest design of them all. Like, yeah, if they could actually get that thing working, it'd be great. But that's not what we're getting. Fantasy. Reality. Fantasy. Reality. Okay, we, we've got the point. Let's, let's kind of go on. So... New York City is served by not one, but three major airports, and you'd think that would make it blissfully easy to fly in or out of Manhattan. In reality, trying to get to any of those airports results in a painful decision between the lesser of many evils, including costly hired cars or affordable but inconvenient trains. Increasingly, New York's business travelers are turning to Uber to get them to the airport of choice, hoping that the traffic and surge pricing gods smile in their favor. Today, Uber launches a new service that will free you from mundane earthly traffic if you're an efficient packer and don't mind the cost. It's called Uber Copter, and it just might be the new best way to get to JFK. The service launched early in the summer, but initially only to Uber top-tier customers. Today, it's open to everyone. The company was kind enough to invite me for a quick spin. Aww, I wasn't invited. Why wouldn't Uber invite me? <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I know why they wouldn't invite fight me. But hey, you know, hey, anyone at Uber, um, if you... I wouldn't mind trying the service out. I might actually even be kind of nice towards it. So here, how much is this thing going to cost? Um, like, the price is going to be $199.82. Uh, the app not only reserved this person helicopter ride from the helipad from the southern tip of Manhattan, but also lined up an Uber X car on one side to get to the heliport, as well as a second car to get me from the JFK airport to the hotel. This was all done completely seamless. Uh, the process, streaming together multiple means of travel to get you to where you need to go, is called multi-modality. Should that be multi-mobility? I, I don't know. I, it seems like that would be a better name, but whatever. And this is Uber's first four-way into providing it into the masses. It won't be the last. Down the road, look for the Uber app to bundle in things like scooters and bikes, depending on the... <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that's what businessmen who can afford to take an Uber copter want. They want to get to the airport, take their Uber copter, and then get on an electric bike. Hello? No, they won't. They, they won't want to do that, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so, any, so anyway, um, this person who, I don't want to read all this because he, you know, since he was invited, I, I don't want to read his material, but that's the view from the Uber copter. 
That's what it looks like on the inside. He writes, be prepared to get cozy with your fellow passengers, especially if you're traveling with a film crew or two. Uh, that's one of the ports. Um, from here to JFK in eight minutes or less, if you live in that New York area or are visited, you will know what a big deal that is. And that's pretty much it. So, but here's the thing. I will read this part because aside from the cost, because $200 is a lot of money to spend to get from one airport to the other, even if it's just in eight minutes, um, baggage might be a concern. Passengers are limited to a personal item, which is a purse or small laptop bag, plus a single piece of baggage that must meet TSA regulations for carry-on size, that is 9 inches by 14 inches by 22 inches. If you're packing heavy for a fortnight long tour of Europe, you might want to stick with Uber Black. And there's one final restriction that makes this a bit of a deal breaker for me. No Android. Yes, Uber Copter is iOS only for now, but I'm told that will be changing soon. What is it with Uber and their prejudice, let's say, against Android users? The Android users outnumber the iOS users by far. Granted, you know, there's that new iPhone 11, and I, maybe their thinking is like, well, if you have like a bunch of Apple products, maybe spending $200 on an Uber Copter isn't going to be that big of a deal. So, yeah. Again, I'm going to link to this article. That's apparently what it looks like. It handles just like an Uber app. Hmm. Reality. Fantasy. Reality. Fantasy. Ah. Well, hey, at least Uber has another transportation service that they can notch under their belt. Um, I personally will not be trying this anytime soon. It's... Uh, I, I think this is pretty clearly aimed for businessmen and very, very rich people because, yeah, the idea of getting, like, from one so side of the island to another in, like, eight minutes, yeah, that's that's nice, obviously, and it's nice that they finally open it up to the general public, but the general public is not going to be spending $200, to, at least they shouldn't, in my opinion, and the fact that you can't carry any real luggage on, that kind of suggests it was, like, made for businessmen, and all that jazz, so yeah, I think businessmen will probably like this, rich people will definitely enjoy it, but it's, I think the average person isn't going to be able to to use this. But who knows? Um, I mean, see, this is the thing that, I, I'm going to go on a little side tangent here, I was going to wrap this up, but let's go on a tight side tangent, let's get this video above 10 minutes, my, why not? It's kind of almost funny to watch this because Uber was bragging we'd have the flying cars now and they actually insisted it wasn't going to be a helicopter it was going to be a genuine flying car look it's a helicopter that, that that's what it is they're not doing anything that other people aren't doing except they have an app again once other companies start realizing this they will develop their own apps they will bring their services straight to the consumer they don't want middlemen like Uber and Lyft so yeah um my prediction stock is 25 20 to $25 by the end of the year. But that's where we'll leave it now. What do you folks think? Do any of you have an interest in writing this thing? I would love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as $1 a month goes a long way to helping this channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. Also, if gas prices are getting just a little down, check out the GetUpside app below. It's totally free, but you get cash back on every gas purchase. If you want more content from me, check out my other YouTube channels, Kevin T. Rodriguez, The Afterpreneur Vlogs, and Autograph Found. And finally, if you want to talk to me or other fellow Uber Copter users, I, I guess is the term for this video, check us out on Facebook at The Afterpreneur Hangouts. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.